Good morning, everybody. This is pop art painter Jamie Rocks, and this is Artist Notes. Uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about my latest painting I uh, did of Charlie Chaplin. Very cool. Uh, this painting was inspired a couple months ago. Uh, well, it was last month, actually. Um, yeah, about a month ago, maybe just over a month ago. We were in Orlando, and uh, we were at Disney World. Me and Danny, my 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 beautiful girlfriend, of course. Uh, we were up there, and uh, we went on my favorite ride, and uh, the great movie ride in Hollywood Studios. And, um, you know, we're going through it, and Danny says, Hey, how come you've never painted a Charlie Chaplin? And, you know, I never have, and I didn't have a good answer for her because he's one of the most iconic um, actors and uh, just an icon of pop culture, even to this day. And, uh, you know, Charlie Chaplin was the man. And so uh, here we are about a month later, and um, I had some time to, uh, to do one finally, to uh, paint a Charlie Chaplin painting. Um, for those who don't know, Charlie Chaplin was an English uh, comic actor, filmmaker, composer. He rose to fame in the uh, silent era of film, and he became a worldwide icon um, for his screen persona, The Tramp. And uh, he's considered probably one of the most important figures in the history of film. His career spanned more, uh, spanned more than 75 years from childhood in the, in the uh, Victorian era until a year before his death in uh, 1977. And um, he had controversy, but man, he, he really did a lot. Uh, his childhood in London uh, back in the day, back in the, the late Victorian era, was, you know, poverty and hardship, man. His father was absent. His mother, you know, they, they were broke. Um, and it was real sad he was sent to a workhouse uh, twice before the age of nine and you know they used to do that back then it wasn't cool at all um, when he was 14 his mother was committed to a mental uh, asylum again not good not good but he you know he worked and, and did the best he could and everything and at 19 he was signed to the uh, prestigious Fred Carno company which uh, that, that took him to America and uh, he was scouted around, and uh, he, he did a lot of work for uh, Keystone Studios. And that's when he developed the Tramp persona and formed... I mean, everybody dug it. Everybody got it. And uh, everybody loved it. Um, he directed his own films, and, uh, you know, he, he just learned his craft, as any good artist needs to do. And um, finally, and, uh, you know, he became real popular. And in 1919... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, 1919, uh, he co-founded the distribution company United Artists, which, um, you know, gave him control of his films, and uh, his first uh, feature-length film was The Kid in 1921. Now, the interesting thing about The Kid is everybody got it. Everybody knew it. They, 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 it just resonated. And what some people, I, I don't know, I, I don't know how you wouldn't know this, but it was, well, if you don't know about his background, I guess, it was very uh, autobiographical. You know, he be, finds this kid this orphan and um you know kind of raises him and they, they have adventures and, and it's comedy and stuff and it's not a big serious drama thing but but it does have some drama elements uh in the comedy aspect of it and it's just a fantastic fantastic film again the kid charlie chaplin 1921 i'm sure it's on um amazon prime and and probably on netflix i imagine too i'm sure you can find it i know you can all rent all these on youtube um but, you know, if you already got Hulu or Netflix and you get a chance, watch The Kid. It, it is a silent movie, I know, and, and a lot of youngsters today are like, oh, it's so boring to watch. Trust, trust me, man. Uh, just don't worry about it. It's a gr fantastic film, and if you haven't seen it, you need to. Um, it's a great, great film. <coughs> now, later in a, another fantastic film of his, uh, one of my all-time favorite films in uh, cinema is the was the uh, the great dictator 1940 and uh, it was a talkie of course this wasn't a silent film and um, you know talk's been out for a while and um, you know he's he, one of his greatest works there's a ton of really cool Charlie Chaplin uh, you know modern times and all <laughs> modern times is hilarious <laughs> oh my god you would, another great one you should really sit down and have a Charlie Ch uh, Chaplin film night man man maybe we maybe I'll do that um like have a Charlie Chaplin party. Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the great great dictator. That's what we were talking about. Uh, it 
it satirized Adolf Hitler. Um, and, in, and this was in the 40s when the U.S. was still isolationist. We, we didn't know what an ass Hitler was and, and just a psychopath. Um, and everybody was like, oh, well, that's over in Europe. Let's stay out of that here in the States. And, and, and here's Chaplin, man. He's, he's calling it like it is. He knew what was up. And, um, you know, and of course, people in suits freaked the hell out and all the politicians and everything, you know, and they, they, they accused him of being a, a communist and, and all this stuff. And, of course, the FBI investigation started and suddenly there was a, uh, a big paternity suit uh, with a younger woman that caused a big scandal and stuff. And, y y you know... I, I could go on a whole thing about that whole era, uh, McCarthyism and what, doesn't matter, let's not get into that, let's get into this painting. Um, but yeah, uh, Chaplin, he was cool, man, he was, he was the guy, he was perfectionist, uh, but he was loaded with cash, so he, um, you know, he, he directed, produced, edited, starred in, and composed the music for, like, his films. He, he's like, you know, hey man, my name's on the door, I'm doing it right, and this is the way we're doing it, don't worry about it here we go and that's what he did <laughs> um anyway they they you know the the politicians with all this this stuff just couldn't deal and um and he was real popular yeah, it scared a lot of people i think you know and uh in, in those idiots in uh in washington you know um well not all idiot not everybody in washington's idiots it's at the time with mccarthyism those guys were definitely idiots don't worry about it. They they really were. Anyway, they took his visa. He had he couldn't get back in the states, man. He had to hang out in Switzerland, and he lived there for like years, like thirty years, man. And then they finally let him back in and gave him all these awards and said, "Yeah, we were, you know, those guys were idiots, and we're sorry." And and here you are, and you know, and and that's how it it went, you know. Um, this painting. Now now onto the painting. Um, it was a fantastic film too with uh, Robert Downey Jr. that uh, where he plays Chaplin came out oh gosh about 20 years ago now but it, it's a good one it's a good one uh, you should check that out too um, okay the painting yeah no the painting I wanted to capture there's an iconic uh, picture at first I wanted to do uh, you know maybe one of the scenes from his movies and I might do that in the future but for this one the initial one I, I wanted to uh, just do something that conveyed joy and and happiness there, there's no big hidden meaning in this it's just a cool uh it's a cool rendering of him um and i used happy colors in it it's got a uh, bright yellow uh background to it highlighted with some uh, s some happy uh eh, lavenderish purplish uh, lavender going towards purple again no meaning there it just contrasts nice nicely with the uh the yellow background and I know that'll probably annoy in the future somebody, uh, you know, in an art history class or something. But yeah, no big meaning to this. It's just, he was cool. He was having a good time. And it's a happy painting, you know, and it's a happy image. I dig it. I hope you do too. Uh, this painting is on a 16 by 20 canvas on uh, duck painting or duck uh, canvas, I should say. 16 by 20 is the style. Uh, this is going up. This went up last night on eBay. I should have done these last night, but I was just too tired. Um, but yeah, you can always find our uh, eBay paintings on my uh, website if you go to uh, jamierocks.us. Uh, that's www.jamierox.us. And, you know, click on the thing that says eBay auctions in the navigation there. There you go. It's real easy to find. Uh, all of our paintings come uh, professionally back finished. Uh, they, they've got the craft paper on, the, the art paper on the back. They're all wired, ready to hang, ready to go uh, on your wall. And of course, they all come with the artist Provence. That's the fancy word uh, we use in the art world for the paperwork, the certificate of authenticity, uh, showing that it's real, it's painted by me. Um, it's got all my credentials on there, and including my fingerprint, and the fingerprint's also on the painting. And so there's never gonna, you know, there's never any question about it. And that may seem like highfalutin and snooty and whatnot, uh, but it's really not. When you get to a point, uh, if you're not already at that point, where you start uh, needing to, uh, you know, insure your, your stuff, uh, in, including your art collection and whatnot, uh, the insurance agency will need that. Uh, they'll, they'll require you have some form, some, uh, some form, God, I can't talk this morning, of documentation. 
hey, I'm looking at the time. Man, this went a little long. Sorry about that. Thanks for listening. And on to the next painting. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.